Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another short video. I actually did promise you that I would make this one. Um, it concerns a lady who we will call Dr. Shola and I hope you enjoy what you're about to watch. Now first of all, before I've got a video I want to show you, but before we get to the video, let's just have a little insight into the lovely Dr. Shola and here she is. Uh, her name is quite an interesting challenge, um, so we shall avoid that. Um, but Dr. Shola is a political and women's right activist. She's taught intersectional feminism to female refugees and asylum seekers, which is an absolutely crucial thing that she's done. I mean, that's exactly what they need to understand. And she scrutinizes government policies from a gender and diversity inclusion perspective. And she co-organizes women's marches and social campaigns. So you can understand the caliber of this lady. It's, it's truly a, a wonder to behold. Now, she, um, she appeared on uh, Good Morning Britain uh, yesterday morning. I'm gonna actually play you the short clip because it's, it's rather um, interesting. So let's just watch this together. Pull up a seat, sit down and uh, enjoy the ride. Here we go. Conveniently forget all of that to paint this picture that all was rosy and hunky-dory. Nonsense. And then you were lording over the queen. Listen, by all means, let's applaud the queen when she does something right. But when she does something wrong, we need to call her out. And just on that note, when she does something wrong, Dr. Shola. So what, um, what do you think the queen has done that's so wrong? Let's follow what on. Wrong. What does she what do kind wrong? Of grandmother? Let me finish. What kind of oh, oh, hang on. Let me finish. That sounded a little bit passive aggressive to me. I'm sure Dr. Shola wouldn't have meant to be aggressive. It would be so much out of character for her. So moving on. Her grandmother would be so close to her to her grandson Harry, but then not use her power and influence as queen to protect them from the racist media coverage. What kind of grand... So the racist media coverage, uh, we probably do need to think about that a little bit. By the way, don't you love the, the wonderful product placement in the background in, on Dr. Shola's, um, uh, it looks to be on top of a fireplace, um, that plinth there, and such lovely um, sculptures also decorating the background. I, I do believe, though, she is broadcasting, I assume, from, from the UK. But let's move on. Grandmother will protect her own son, Prince Andrew, from the potential crime of raping a minor, but will do jack all to protect Harry and Meghan, especially, I have no doubt that she would have heard about the suicidal thoughts and the help and support she needs. And then you sit... Uh, just hang on a second, Dr. Shola. You have no doubt that Her Majesty would have heard about... Megan's suicidal thoughts. You've no doubt. Well, I suppose you're offering opinion. Um, it's by no means clear that the Queen was aware of such. There, hammering on about how the royal institution is not racist. Are you out of your godforsaken mind? No, you know what? I find what you're saying history? about the Queen actually disgraceful. I find what you're saying. Finished. You're entitled to your Let opinion, Shola. The I find. Sorry, no, I'm allowed to respond to what you've just said. Is rooted. Listen, you might learn something. Whoa, whoa, listen, Piers, you might learn something if this expert in intersectional feminism is allowed a little bit more. Please continue, Dr. Shola. We're, we're open mouthed to hear more. The royal family as an institution is rooted in colonialism, white supremacy, and racism. The um, so the royal family as an institution is rooted in racism says Dr. Shola. Oh, bye. The legacy is right there. So you are now surprised that a comment would have been made by several members of the royal family. Right. We need to stop her at that one, don't we? No one has said that the comment was made by several members of the royal family. You know, for someone who's a lawyer, she seems a little bit loose with her words, but maybe she was just having a bad morning. About how dark it's not finished. several members, actually. No, no, you can't spew you lies. All right. Harry and Meghan Are we allowed to engage in any of this? Actual, let me finish. That's about the third time she said, let me finish. 
I think this is a very aggressive person, a very angry person. I wonder why she's so angry. I'm more outraged that Harry and Meghan have the audacity to speak that truth than you should be at the actual outrage of racism. Right, okay. You, you, Am I allowed to respond to this? Percent. Am I allowed to respond yet? You, you can respond now. Okay. And you see, just at that, and she grants him, the host of the program, the right to respond to her. Let me tell you something. If this was me by being interviewed by Piers Morgan, I would have been instantly cut off. It's almost like there's one rule for certain people and another for others. Okay, I think what you've just said about the Queen is disgusting. I think it's unbelievable. I Notice the instant ad hominem coming straight back from Dr. Shola. She calls Piers Morgan disgusting because he's defending the Queen. Did you talk you about you talk about the behaviour of a nice that? Allow me to say what I'm. Allow me to explain. And the institution is protected. Right. Allow me to. Allow me to defend our royal family. Harry. Thank you. You tell me. Um, you completely forget. Sorry, all and of there, there, there we have. Um, <clears throat> sorry, there we have Dr. Shola <clears throat> in full flow. Um, there's a couple of other things with Dr. Shola I thought was quite interesting. Um, her doctorate degree in law, so it was on the comparative. Socio -legal, legal study of corruption in Nigeria. Uh, and she focuses particularly on the interaction of social norms, beliefs, and values in the perception of what constitutes corrupt behavior. <laughs> so that was, uh, that, that's her. Also, by the way, this is, uh, this is her book. Um, uh, if you can see it there, um, in fact, what I should do is let me just remove the, uh, the banner. So you can see it in all its glory. This is why I resist. Don't define my black identity. Mm. Can you imagine if one of us perhaps wrote a book, this is why I resist. Don't define my white identity. I suspect the R word might be used against it. And all those clenched fists there. I think we know where Dr. Scholl is coming from in some regards. Of course, it has to be said in full disclosure here, I mean, she has interreacted me with me during the Twitter years. Um, I remember this um, this gem she put up. David, you racist ghoul, spent all night researching Yoruba to produce that lie. I'm British. I never said she wasn't, by the way. So talk about our history of white people subjugating black people for century. So again, the, the, the constant theme through Dr. Um, Shola's many um, uh, sort of public utterances, it's about why white people are so racist. Now, I will leave it with you to draw your own conclusions about what motivates Dr. Shola. And the, the, the sad thing in my view is that, of course, some of the people who uh, talk most about these issues do the least to actually help create harmonious um, relations between races. Also, as a postscript to this video, in the past hour, Piers Morgan is leaving Good Morning, Morning Britain. I'm sure Dr. Shola won't um, spend, lose too many tears over that, nor indeed will I, but he's leaving because of comments he made with regard to Meghan, Mer uh, Meghan Markle, Meghan uh, on uh, on Monday. So he's leaving and Dr. Shola, of course, will be no, no doubt continuing to be given prominence on our media in which you can accuse this country of being institutionally racist, of accusing anyone who opposes her uh, of the most horrible things, which she has accused me of, by the way. Um, so I, I think, as I say, with, with Dr. Shola, the, the thing is that the only thing I see her resisting, in all honesty, is a kind of reality, she, which she makes, up, uh, she, she makes up her own facts. She clearly is wrong when she states, in, as she did in that vid video, you know, that several members of the royal family uh, had inquired about the skin color of Archie. That's not, not, not the truth. Also a question for uh, uh, Dr. Shola. Is Meghan Markle black? I don't think so. So why pretend that she is? That's strange, isn't it? 
Ultimately, I'm afraid social media and the mainstream media is full of those who continually advance a, a very aggressive race narrative. And that does not help make better societies. Britain has nothing to apologize for when it comes to how it's behaved towards other countries over the many centuries. And you know, if you want to find a particularly vile and corrupt country, you could do a lot. You could probably start with Nigeria. Maybe she needs to have, maybe Dr. Shola needs to have spent more time studying the incredible corruption that uh, that country has uh, become characterized for. Um, so that's it anyway, Dr. Shola, do let me know what you think of Dr. Shola in the comments below. I leave it for you. Is she a, is she a wise and serious voice? Uh, is she someone who is just out to promote her book and seizing this as an opportunity to do it? Or does she have a valid point? All, all those are options. You tell me in the comments below and I'll catch up with you folks very, very soon.